Greetings YouTubers. Well, today we are going to be looking at this uh, Viaden. I believe it's what it's called. This is a professional automotive diagnostic solution tool. And this one here is for GM. Now they make different ones for Fords and so forth. This one here was about $130 or $40. Wasn't very much. The reason I bought this is I need to go in and do a crankshaft relearn on my 2006 Trailblazer that I did a video on earlier. I had to put a new computer in it and they programmed it for me and it took care of the issue and the transmission shifts great, but I still have a check engine light on for that code. So I need to get something like this. I'm gonna see if this actually will clear it. Now it does say it will clear it on the back here. There's a long list of everything it does. This one here is the uh, iLink 400. If you get to 460, it doesn't do everything, but over here on the left side, all these dots, does all the stuff here you know system scan makes car uh, make a uh, car make coverage and all that uh, reads codes clear codes freeze frame and down here uh, you can go in and do oil light reset uh, battery um, injector coating uh, just a whole list of stuff so if you want to uh, find out exactly what this actually does you can probably go online and google this and you'll see a lot of sales of uh, places on eBay where I bought this off of dealers that you can actually get this so uh, there it is it came in the box package UPS uh, came fairly quick and uh, there's some more stuff on the front here it tells you can do the air bleed um, ABS bleed uh, BRT DPF and it will reset and then SRS it just goes on and on and on so um, it seems like it's a pretty decent quality uh, scan tool. I had it open earlier. I just wanted to show you how it sort of showed up here at the house. And uh, it comes in this nice little package here. A little safety um, carton, if you will. Kind of keep it together so it doesn't get banged up too bad. And there's a look at it here. And I'll try to hold the camera as steady as I can. And you get some manuals here. Um, you get a little... Thing here with a password and all that now they want you to go online and set this up right away uh, kind of put your uh, password in and kind of just set it up and uh, I don't know right off the bat if it needs updated since it's fairly new I tried to do it on my computer but the problem is I have a Mac uh, you really need a PC to do this so uh, I'll deal with that later I just wanted to see if this is going to work right out of the box or the carton if you will if I can reset my oil, uh, my crankshaft uh, code, I should say. And here's another manual. And it's fairly, uh, you know, explanatory. It's got a lot of information in it. And on the back there, it tells you how to kind of get the thing set it up and all that. And you get a little flash drive right here and some more paperwork. But here is a look at it. Now, it feels, you know, fairly heavy. It doesn't feel terribly cheap, but, you know, what do you want these days? There's all your buttons and everything, and I will have to go back in here and look at all the buttons because these buttons do a lot of things, different things, and um, until you kind of get used to one of these, you'll have to sort of hold this manual <laughs> and look at those buttons and see what they actually do here. And if I get on the page where the buttons uh, commands are, let's see if I can find it here real quick. I think it's the next page. Hang on. All right, there you go. It's actually on the other manual that was inside. Uh, you can see there's all the commands for the buttons and everything so you'll probably have to have this out in order to kind of get used to it and everything but uh, we'll see what we can do with that later but uh, what we're going to do we're going to see if it'll work straight out of the box I'd love to get that uh, code crank sensor uh, relearn done and it says this will do it so um, we're just going to try it right out of the box and hook it up take it out the trailblazer and see what we get then after that i'll figure out how to register it and all that on the pc it's fairly simple to do it does have a little it looks like it's fairly simple to do you have the little tiny card right there sd card that you can pop in pop out and that will fit in the side of this right here and there's a bigger slot for a regular sd card and i'm sh not sure what that actually is for but that's something i'll figure out later so let's go outside and see what we can do with it all right so we're setting the trailblazer and you can see the check engine light is on and that is because of this right here 315 need to uh relearn the crank shaft position sensor you know i got one other code here for a uh let's see this here i just bought a brand new smoke machine 
we're going to try to take care of this in the video p0496 but the other three codes there we go and this happens when you change out your uh, computer in a trailblazer there are dealers and people businesses on ebay that will completely redo your computer if you send them the vin number and all that i don't know uh, about ford and other auto my automobile manufacturers what i'm trying to say uh, but I know GM, you have to do this, so uh, I just wanted to show you that code. And now let's go ahead and hook up our new scan code reader. All right, so there is that, and you're going to see it light up for the first time, just like me. Once I get my hands down here and find where to plug this in at, and once I get it plugged in, okay, it lit up on its own. That's pretty responsive, pretty fast. The cable's getting pretty warm, so I don't know if it'll stay here. I'll have to kind of set this somehow where you can see it. All right, let me get situated here a little bit better. All right, so there we go. That does OBD, two codes. So let's go ahead and, like I said, I don't know how to work this thing. We're just going to wing it right off the bat. Let's see what we got. See what she does. I've got seven scan tools, so... <laughs> All right, so, well, seems pretty simple on, yeah. Okay. Let's read the code. So we have stored codes. Yeah, well, okay, so that seems to work. So let me just hit this one here, so escape. All right, let's do pending codes. All right, there we go. So uh, crankshaft and evap. Cool. All right, so uh, get out of this, and let's go see what we can find. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to go back a lot farther. Let's just go ahead and scan down through here and see what we have. We have a lot of component tests, mo modes, uh, presence, uh, system status. Oops. This is back here. System status. Let's see what we got. All right, codes found, too, and all that. So this will be uh, fun to play with, but we'll just scan all the way through here. Erase codes, live data, freeze frame. Let's go see what the live data looks like just for the heck of it. Well, it's pulling up the pens pretty fast, so. I'm shooting this with my little cell phone, so I'll hopefully the quality will be okay here and you can see everything. All right, so it's come up pretty fast. Seems a little faster than my other tools. Intake manifold, vehicle speed sensor, throttle position sensor. So we'll go all the way down here. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, see if it'll do a graphic. Re oh, it does graphs. Okay, cool. Graph one. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it does that. I wasn't sure if it even did that. I just wanted to clear off the uh, crankshaft code. So. Let me start my cam restart my camera real quick here before it overheats. Back. I asked Graph 2. See what we got. Oh, okay. Cool. That's pretty pretty responsive. So, so far, so good. So, let's get out of here and see what else we got. We got... Um, all right. We'll go to GM. Uh, and we got the tool symbol. Though. That's probably where we want to go. But let's go into GM here and see... What we got here, maybe our some stuff in here. Like I said, this is all new, and uh, you know, just bear with me here. If you're going to buy one of these tools, you want to see what it does. You're going to find out, I guess, here through the uh, buttons and all that. Uh, yeah, establishing vehicle communications. Maybe I'm somewhere I shouldn't be right now. I don't know. Okay, I'll see how long this takes. All right, there we go. All right, 2006 uh, truck, four door. Carb. All right. Well. Okay. Oh, there we go. Powertrain control. Body. Oh, this is what I really wanted to see. I may do a separate video on it. But look at this digital radio receiver. I think I can go in and put a different radio in here because this one's kind of messed up. I have another radio for Trailblazer, but it's got the code lock. I think if I put the other radio in here from the other Trailblazer, I think I can program the code through this and it'll work. That would be interesting to see. We may do that in this video, but I mainly want to see if we can get our light off. So we got all these other things here. Seat, heating, air conditioning, instrument cluster, 
There's just going to be... Uh, you know, there's no way I want to make a video on all this. There's just too much stuff here. Let's see what radio does. Data display. Let me take a second here for it to pop back up. Cool. Voltage. Tells me a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Base 100%. Yeah, you know, I like my base. Alright, so let's just go back and see what to go for mode ID. I think this is just probably the information. Oh, digital part number. Okay. Eight digit number, part number. So, this is something I'm going to have to operate. Uh, the manual for and just kind of go in and uh, figure out what all this means there's probably a way I can change the VIN number to part number but anyway so let's just get out of this real quick and go over to uh, let's see the other section yes to the wrench and I think this is where our crankshaft sensor relearn should be all right, so we have oil light set, reset. I don't need to do any of that. Let's just go down through here. Angles, reset, steering, battery reset, ABS, bleeding. Let's just, let's just see what the ABS bleeding does here, what kind of commands we have. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do any of this. Apparently, it'll bleed the black brakes, and we don't want to do that right now. Let's escape. Get out of that. I want to do the crankshaft sensor relearn. All right. Injector coding, instrument odometer correction. Are you kidding me? Instrument panel mileage calibration is to copy overwrite miles. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so I can change the mileage on this thing? That's, that's kind of hard to believe. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Let's do Chevrolet. All the way down to uh, Chevrolet Trailblazer, wherever it's at. Equinox. Well, there's all the vehicles that it'll do it on. Maybe that's your GMC, maybe under Trailblazer. No. Nope. Uh, Chevrolet. Spark. Track. Camaro. Where's Trailblazer? I'm not sure about this one, guys. I don't see Trailblazer. Well, I'm not too worried about that. So let's go back in here and see. Huh, special funk. Oh, I should be there. Special functions. I believe that's where I want to be. Sorry about that. Let's go back here and scroll down some more and see if we can find a crankshaft relearn. Brake pad replacement. Battery reset, ABS bleeding, tire pressure reset, injector coating. All right, so I'm just kind of going in a loop here. Let me see if I can find where the crankshaft relearn is on this. I did a couple of, uh, I went through the system a couple of times off camera, so I didn't want to waste too much time. But I did find out where we do the uh, crankshaft variation relearn. So basically, you're in GM, you just hit that. It loads up the data and an automatic section and you have a manual section. I'm just going to go in the automatic because it'll show everything that's available right away. And now we let that load up. I'll try to keep the camera as steady as I can so it'll stay focused for you guys. And it takes a couple of seconds to get in here, but uh, it is uh, establishing the communications here. Now I did restart the vehicle, so hopefully that didn't mess anything up here. All right, there we go. And there's all your information, all that. So I'm just going to hit OK. And there's power train, uh, power, power, well, I need to learn to talk. Power train, control module, and all that. And you have a bunch of other stuff here. So what I'm going to do is just go right into power train, control module, and diagnostic display, and special functions. That's where you want to go for that. And 
you have engine controls and all that and if you go all the way down here there is crankshaft position variation learn so there it is so let's go ahead and see if we can do this while we're in here please wait I'm probably going to have to do some things here with the gas pedal all right to um, accelerate to uh, open throttle wide open widely release throttle if fuel cutoff happens see service manual for additional information RPM value full full trim cutoff so drive, block wheels and drive okay park do not apply the brake press and hold brake pedal start and idle engine okay so I'm gonna have to all right brake pedals held okay engine is idling AC is off vehicle must be placed in park or neutral position okay let's do that progress in procedure in progress I'm so I'm excited and nervous accelerate wide open all right I did learn status this ignition etc okay escape all right so light is still on let's see if we can go up here and clear this now all right so we're back into the uh, code reader let's go in here and see if we can erase this code i don't know why it doesn't go off on its own automatically but you know whatever on okay erase codes okay yes race done and it went off yay all right all right i can't believe it it went off it worked all right so this thing paid for itself already wow i can't believe it did it way cool so uh that is awesome so I may play around with this a little bit later and make another video and see if I can actually put another radio in here and change the codes so I can have a nicer radio in here. But I can't believe it worked. Of course, uh, I've got to go in there and, you know, I'll drive the code for the emissions code will come back on. That's probably a leak somewhere back in the gas. I could just have a bad gas cap, but I can't believe it worked. Read codes. Let's see what we got. I'll have to do pending codes. No pending codes. So let's shut it off and restart it. Take key out. Back in. Light's still off. Yay. Now let's go back in here and do pending codes. Now we don't have any. So I'll be daggone. It actually worked. I am totally shocked. Well, I guess I'm surprised but not shocked. 100 and... 55 bucks for this they did give me a 15 dollar discount i told them i'd put a video link up and maybe a uh, link to their sales uh, sales site uh, showing how this kind of works but there's a lot more it can do guys uh i may do some more videos in the future on some things but the next thing is like i said the radio and um all that so uh there we go all right, so after about a half hour, I've been playing around with it, and it's pretty cool. You know, you got special functions here. You can go in here, and uh, you can do control out. You can uh, do output controls. You can control certain things to see, you know, if your windows are working or something. Or you can go in here and do uh, just uh, differential, uh, different tests, miscellaneous tests. And let's say, uh, let's put the right rear window down. We'll hit that. It's communicating with the. Uh, vehicle here and we should be able to put it down and if I hit down this way you know if your switch is not working here and you don't know if it's a regulator motor or something you can test that motor and let's hit down here let's push the button and back there's that one and there it goes down <laughs> pretty cool huh and uh we hit up and there it goes up there it goes All right, so, you know, there's a lot here to learn. So this is something you might want to check out if you have a GM. I seem to be working on a lot of uh, GM trailblazers and so forth. So uh, kind of nice to have, but the uh, check engine light is still off. Let me know where you're watching from right now as we kind of scroll through some things. Like I said, I may do some more videos and uh, on this and see what uh, else we can do. Instrument cluster, panel cluster, let's see what that does. 
display data. Let's just go back to special functions and see what I can actually do. Oh, okay, let's display. So, <laughs> I don't want to get too involved with this right now because I might mess up something and not be able to drive the vehicle. So, but anyway, we got the check engine light off of the crankshaft sensor learn and all that. And I just wanted to give you a, kind of a hands on what this uh, system is like. So, I think I'm going to be using it probably quite a bit. So, there you go, guys. I guess it's called the Viadin. I don't know. And uh, seems like a pretty good tool. The iLink 400 full system scan tool. So, there you go, guys. Until my next video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.